All right, welcome everybody. Match number four coming right up. We are one and two in this league. Uh, competitive Legacy League, the only type of league in Legacy that you can do. Um, three lands, four spells. I uh, don't like getting this in the opening hand very much. Uh, Past and Flames is okay. I'd, I'd really like to mulligan. Okay, that's a little better. I'm fine with putting that on the bottom, actually. Hoping we can get one of our spell reducers here. Ponder. Uh, play a mountain. So here, uh, if you're not really too well versed in Legacy, and you maybe not, you know, didn't grow up playing these cards. Uh, on turn one, you don't want to play a non-basic land like Richardon Port or Ancient Tomb or anything like that. It doesn't really matter what you're playing against, regardless whether or not you know what you're playing against. Um, because Wasteland is and is such uh, a prevalent card that a lot of times some decks can just play Wasteland on turn one after you play your Ancient Tomb, and especially if you don't play anything off of it. And then they just wasteland your card. And then you're already way behind the eight ball. So that's one thing I try to keep in mind and not do. Um, but I might be forced to do it next turn if I keep drawing these daggone ancient tombs. Well, they, they played three Ponders in a row, and we have three Ancient Tombs in our hands, so... I mean, neither one of us can complain about drawing the same cards or, you know, the opponent getting the same stuff. Alright. Um, well, this is not turning out the best. I could look at my sideboard here and see what's available. Uh, I mean, I could get Reforged the Soul and get us both to just redraw seven. I'm actually okay with that. And if they counter it, then they counter it. Get the card. We're gonna get Reforge the Soul. I mean, there's really. I mean, I could have gotten a gamble there, I, I guess. But next turn, I'm just gonna, you know, cast Seething Songs and Reforge the Soul. Play, play the one ancient tomb and you know hope that they tap out and don't have a force of will or a daze or something but that's probably not going to happen if they play like true name nemesis and, and you know uh, okay so they didn't tap out Okay, so they let the Seething Song go off. Got another Seething Song. And a Simeon Spirit Guide, and I'll cast this Reforge the Soul that you're definitely going to counter. I mean, Days and Spell Pierce, it gets around that. If they have force straight up, 
or just counter spells straight up, then they get it. But otherwise, you know, yeah. Uh, okay. Two spell pierces. And a daze. Okay. You have two dazes? I mean, that's fine. If you have two dazes, then that's fine. Wow. Four counter spells to get rid of Reforge the Soul. Okay. I don't know what you want me to say to that. <laughs> I mean... Uh, four for one reforge the soul that's uh, pretty ridiculous and see that's exactly what I was talking about right there wasteland takes out ancient tomb and they couldn't care less all right well that was uh, kind of peculiar but whatever I was thinking they were just gonna counter you know use three counter spells just to get them out of their hand uh, but <laughs> Four counter spells for one card. Seems fair. Alright, let's see how many more counter spells they have. Desperate ritual, huh? I don't think this is gonna work, but whatever. Why have zero mana? I'm sure he's making fun of me right now. I don't really care. So, I can't play anything because I don't have any mana. I mean, it's whatever. I'll just cast it next turn. That's really the only reason I cast it, I guess, is so I can cast it next turn and hopefully get a bunch of stuff going. Um, attack for six. Probably bolt me for nine. Go to... Five. Uh, I don't know. Three cards in their hand. Alright, let's hope things work out. Oh boy. So I got four, I got eight mana, and this cost five. Um, well, I can do both. Uh, it's just that Yeah, I'd have to do Past in Flames first. More counters? <laughs> yep, more counters. Oh, they're going to try, I guess. They got Brainstorm. I imagine they've they're going to they're going to get them if they have them in their deck. Uh, okay. Well, whatever. So guess desperate ritual here and be desperate. And hopefully this works out for us. So we got two act on impulses here. That's a ruby medallion. That's pretty strong. And a past in flames. Pretty strong also. Come on, we got three mana for the for the past in flames though, so that's a huge problem. Um I got three for the I can do two for the act on impulse out of the graveyard and still have enough for the abrade even if I don't get anything oh boy got 
Oh, and I can't cast this, this. I can't use the Sibian Spirit Guide. Oh, no! Oh, well. So it's, the fun stops here. Uh, I get to get rid of the that thing, though. And it makes the Tarmogoyf lethal. Naturally. <laughs> oh, well. Gosh. I don't think there was a different way I could have done that. Maybe I could have done that better, but I, I feel like I might have done that the best way you could have. Um, well, Defense Grid will definitely be coming in with four counter spells on one card. Holy jeez. Um, Reforge is fine to go out. I think we're going to do the normal sideboarding that we've been doing. I mean, a braid was good and all, but you know, I'm I'm not really trying to worry about their creatures, and I don't think they have any artifacts right now. They might have, well, no, the the thorn of amethyst probably isn't going to help them either. Anything that stops non-creature spells is not going to help because they have you know a lot of counter spells too. So, uh, I think this is a this is a fine sideboard. Unless they have, you know, a line of sanctity or something. I mean, I... <laughs> outside of that, I, I don't really see anything being a problem. Maybe just cut Overmaster for the wear and tear, just in case. Um, I don't think I really care that much about it, do I? Ah, nah. We're gonna move right along. We're not gonna we're not gonna ag antagonize over that. Agonize, not antagonize. He's antagonizing me. Um some good guard good cards. Yeah, good cards here. I think I'll take it. Not turn one artifact, but turn two, depending on. Well, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're on the play. That's right. So turn two artifact, turn three. Hopefully, we can start, you know, working on going off. If we can get like a Manamorphose in our hand, or maybe another uh, Overmaster or something, that'd be really good. Ancient Tomb would be welcomed. Um, a lot of stuff. Lots of fun stuff here. Yeah, we were close there. That first game was... They were a lot closer to dying than they... I think they, they knew. Well, I took both of the artifact removal cards out and Grave Di Graft Digger's Cage came in. Oh, well. So, I can't really depend on the graveyard too much anymore. That's doable. It hurts. But it's doable. I think we're going to have to rely more on uh, Empty the Warrens. Yeah. Ancient Grudge, too. Getting wrecked by sideboard cards here. Alright, Helm of Awakening will help them. But... It'll help us more in the long run. Because a lot of their stuff is going to be casting cost of one. So they got they have another ancient grudge. I need to worry about that. Um, They're just going to fetch and destroy the Ancient Grudge when I do something here. Or, not destroy the Ancient Grudge. Use the Ancient Grudge and destroy the Helm of Awakening. 
but maybe they don't have green in their deck. I think they do. I thought they played a Tropical Island. Um, maybe I was wrong. This always makes the counter deck stop and think. You're like, oh, do I really care enough to counter that Overmaster? Yes, you probably should. Because <laughs> usually I'm playing something pretty good after it. Um, this is where I'll get Empty the Warrens, probably. I think that's probably the play. I've only got seven mana available. Um, yeah. Hopefully they don't have some kind of mass removal in their hand. We're going to keep the Burning Wish in our hand, uh, you know, just in case. I could have, I could have cast Burning Wish and gotten something else and gone, you know, a little crazy, but Try not to get too greedy here. But Legacy is a format of greed. Um, I do have two mana available. Let's see what's left in the sideboard. If I cast uh, Burning Wish for one right now, I'd have three mana available. And... I could do Act on Impulse and cast a Manamorphose if I got one of those or something off of it. But that would really be it. Um, I could do Burning Wish for Grape Shot right now. Maybe that would work. Let's try it. That would make things lethal. Uh, you know. Next turn, I believe. Maybe not. I think it does bring them down to 12. I think it's like exactly lethal. But they have a blocker, so... I could have hit the, the Delver, sure. But not so much worried about that. So, if they if they win here, that's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, but we did go off pretty well there. And we can't rely on the Graveyard... And they already ancient grudged one of our artifacts, and they have the possibility to do it again. Uh, they don't have anything to wasteland. They only have three cards in their hand. They'll have four after the draw. This thing will probably flip. And I would think the dead giveaway that they think they have it, or they know they have it, is if they attack with Delver's Secrets. Or when it flips, even if it, you know, especially if it flipped. Uh, if they had attacked with it, they definitely would have thought they had it. Um, going to 11 actually makes me think they think they have it. Oh, okay. Well, they give it up. So, game three it is. Cool. Um, we're going to bring the artifact tape back in. And I think I'm forced to take an Overmaster out. And maybe a defense grid. Um, maybe just a Hazard's Undying Fury. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, I don't really want to do all that, but there's just a lot of artifact destruction and artifact hate that I don't want to see. Well, let's see here. More than mean not artifact hate, I guess graveyard hate. Um... Maybe I can just bring back the 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 wear and tear, and have the act on impulse in there. But the act is is very strong, you know, with burning wish. Huh. Hmm. 
It's just that, you know, now we only have six cantrips. The Overmaster is, is a very strong card. I'm going to go for it. It's just, it doesn't seem like the best idea. We got one land here. Probably will go for a turn one Ruby Medallion with Rite of Flame, depending on what I draw here. If I draw Ancient Tomb, I'll probably just drop that and do it. Even though they could go Wasteland and kill it, I, I really don't care. If I can get Ruby Medallion out, terrific. Um, I don't know, though. It, you know, Turn one Defense Grid is really strong, too. I think Defense Grid might be the primary plan. Oh, Nimble Mongoose. That guy's back, huh? Yeah. No more Deathrite Shaman. We got Nimble Mongoose. Loving it. Missed that card. Probably won't be saying that by the end of this match, but... <laughs> oh, wow. They're letting us just play Defense Grid. I'll take it. Shows they don't have a Counterspell in their hand, or they just didn't want to use one there. So defense grid's going to hurt them pretty badly, I would think. Unless they sideboarded out a bunch of their counter spells. Which, I don't know how you'd be able to do that when you have probably more than, many, many more than 15 counter spells in your deck. Um, from here, I'm hoping to just get mana and, and, you know, or some kind of, like, another Rite of Flame or something like that. Get Ruby Medallion out because otherwise I'm kind of stuck here. Like it was a good start and that was great. We needed it, but you know, we need to be able to get some land to follow it up here. They've only got four cards in their hand. Um, you know, they're gonna they're they're pondering, so they're gonna have five right now. Land makes it down to four cards again. And they hit the Ancient Grudge on my artifact. That is not a good thing. And all we get is another artifact. Okay, so, you know, this is just bad draws. Uh, you know, good sideboarding on the opponent's part. Um, and just good deck building on the opponent's part, too. Um, you know, this is, this is just a very strong deck. Always has been. Probably will be for a long time. Gotta land. Ruby Medallion hopefully gets through. Doesn't seem like it's getting through. So they get played days. That's fine. I'm already down to 15. If this flips, I can be down to a lot less, but they haven't, wow, they haven't flipped that yet either. Uh, Nimble Mongoose gets bigger now, so I still take four and go to 11. See, Nimble Mongoose is one of the old abilities here with Threshold. All right. Well, hoping they don't have another Counterspell. Oh, look, they do. Okay, so if they get another one, then that's just going to be what it is. I'm pretty much close to lethal here. Uh, okay, so... This is not the worst thing in the world here. I you know, I'm, I might be able to try and go off, but it will be very, very difficult. They have two cards in their hand, and I don't have really any way to draw cards I have burning wish I can gamble for stuff uh, 
All right, we I mean we have to go off here. This is, you know, we die if we don't. They have two cards left in their hand. I mean, is it more counter spells? I had to use Ancient Tomb right there because, you know, Wasteland. Golly, more counter spells. This is just not fun. I mean, it's fine to have counter spells in your deck and everything, man, but when it, when your deck is literally like 25 counter spells and then like 10 creatures, that's just super annoying. Um, you know, you're not letting people play magic. Uh, that that dropped me out of this league, so I won't be able to play any more matches. I mean, I can, but it's not for anything. If I had won that match for, you know, with some miracle, um, and then won the next one, then I would be 3 and 2. And that way I would have been able to get, you know, my money back or my, my points back that I got into the tournament with and a couple treasure chests, I believe. Or maybe just one, right? <coughs> yeah, I would have gotten my points back in one treasure chest. But whatever. So goes Competitive Legacy. Thanks for joining me, folks. That was four matches there with uh, Ruby, Ruby Storm, one and three. Uh, I haven't played this deck in several years, so got to sharpen up my skills and... Um, you know, maybe get a little better. I am looking to play this deck in GP Richmond. Um, I'm from there originally, so, you know, it's really easy for me to get there and have a good time and just enjoy myself. I'm not, you know, trying to win the whole tournament or anything. Um, but if it's too expensive, uh, you know, then it's too expensive and I just won't be there. But for right now, that is the plan. Thanks for joining me, folks. See you later.